In this video, we're going to review the parts of the heart and the order that blood flows through the heart. Here we have the superior vena cava, which you can't see behind here. It looks just like this, but on the bottom is the inferior vena cava. So superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. Blood then goes into the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle through the pulmonary semilunar valve out the pulmonary artery it goes to the lungs where it becomes oxygenated it then returns to the heart through the pulmonary veins there are two here and two on the other side that you can't see then goes into the left atrium the through the bicuspid or mitral valve into the left ventricle out the aortic semilunar valve, which I'll show you on a future picture, and then out the aorta, where it then branches to the body, which I'll show you those in the next lab. Other parts of the heart that you have, you have the septum, which is this muscular layer between the two sides. The heart muscle is technically called the myocardium. You have the apex of the heart, and then you have the base of the heart, which goes along here where all the blood vessels enter and leave the heart. So one more time through the order through the heart. You have the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava is behind here, right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle, pulmonary semilunar valve, out the pulmonary artery to the lungs where it's oxygenated, back through the pulmonary veins, the left atrium, bicuspid or mitral valve, the left ventricle, out the aortic semilunar valve. Also on here you can see the, the apex, the base would be along here. You have the septum, which is the muscular layer here. The technical word for muscular layer of the heart is the myocardium. Another term you need to know is the pericardium or pericardial sac, and that's the sac in which the heart sits in. Looking up close again, here we're at the left ventricle, so you have the left atrium, the bicuspid or mitral valve, then you, here you can see the aortic semilunar valve but below the bicuspid valve. You can then also see here the left bundle branch and these little fibers coming off that are called the Purkinje fibers. Also here you have the septum, which is the muscular wall. But if I'm pointing to these vessels, you need to know that this is these are the coronary arteries and the blue ones are the coronary veins. Also something you haven't seen yet on the pictures is this structure here. When the flap of the model is closed, you see the oracle, which is the flap that sits over, there's a right and left that sits over the atrium of the heart. Looking at the conduction system of the heart, this picture is of the right atrium and you have the SA node and you have the AV node that you can see here. The SA node being the pacemaker of the heart. And then if you go back, um, you can also then see the left bundle branch here and you can see, no you can't, you can see the right bundle branch on this picture. Okay, so this is the right side of the heart. So you're looking at the pulmonary semilunar valve and the tricuspid valve. And again, you can see the right bundle branch and then you can see the Purkinje fibers coming off that structure. So those are the parts of the heart. Again, you need to know the order, which we went through here, as well as whether the blood is oxygenated or deoxygenated. It's deoxygenated on the right side of the heart, up through the pulmonary artery, and then through the lungs, where at the lungs it's going to be oxygenated, and so it comes back through the pulmonary veins, oxygenated, and then through the left side of the heart and up the aorta. So again, review these and then take the practice test. You'll be ready for the exam.